Hello everyone, I'm Chris Reis and I want to help you out with an issue I found out recently I had and I didn't know about and I just uh, tried to fix it and uh, yes, I at last I found a fix that works for me and I hope it works for you also. I'm gonna explain you what the issue was for me uh, overall. So, I started a 2PC setup with Elgato on the streaming PC, sending signal from the gaming PC to the Elgato. The way I used to do it was cloning the main monitor. I have only one monitor in the game PC, so I don't have two. Second monitor is basically the one from the stream PC, so I'm not using any resources on the game PC. It's better for me like that. So I was just cloning my monitor to the Elgato. You know, I have 144 hertz on the gaming PC. Delgado is uh, 60, it doesn't know more. Uh, it worked fine. I had the 144 hertz running on the gaming PC without problems. But there was an issue I didn't think of very well and I didn't notice it. I thought it was micro stutter. I'm gonna explain what happened. So I ran a game that was a uh, theoretically full screen. It was a uh, Oh, showing, um, okay, one, 100 FPS, yeah, 100 FPS, blah, blah, blah. But it feels like stuttery, it's not very smooth. It felt like, you know what? This is not what's supposed to be. So I got, again, a very old game at one point. I, I played Counter-Strike 1.6 because nostalgia hit me. And I was like, okay, this is not smooth. It, this should be smooth. What the hell is happening? When I just, what, it should run smooth, what's up? So, what I thought, I was like, it must be because maybe how I clone my monitors, it's like, okay. And what I did, I disabled Elgato signal from NVIDIA. And guess what? The game ran smooth. I was like, what? So, just cloning my monitor to the Elgato. Cloning it instead of the other one. I'm gonna tell you what. It affects my F somehow it just locks my FPS to 60 even though it shows me more. It's, it's so mind-blowingly bad. And I'm think I think it's the fact that the game is not real full screen because I um, I tried Valorant and it, that was smooth for some reason. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay. I figured out that uh disabling I'm gonna show you what I, I disabled and I've noticed that running one monitor um, would fix my FPS into the game, but I wouldn't be able to stream it because I would have to disable it. So I just unticked this, and the game ran. I knew that people would fix this. Uh, the tearing. There was screen tearing on the L if you would run one mon uh, monitor clone, you would have screen tearing in Elgato Capture, which is kind of bad. You would notice it, I guess. That was an issue that people fixed by doing this, by cloning the mon, uh, but extending the monitor like this. Yeah, and uh, this is in diagonal because uh, the mouse won't go out your monitor if you run it in diagonal. You don't need the second screen anyway. It just the second screen is used for OBS. You know, in that, um, what I mean by that is like just full screen projector on the second monitor. Click on it, and it's gonna project, and Elgato is basically the second monitor, so you, you're gonna see this. If I disable the screen capture, display capture, you're gonna see what I have in the background. Because I will have to capture the games. There's a problem, you you are kind of forced to use OBS, that's one of the issues, I guess. And you would have to have it actually capture a game. Some games might have issues, very old games especially, I think. But yeah, this is basically how you fix your... <laughs> Not only the screen tearing on the Elgato, your FPS into the games. Some games, for some reason, get stuck at 60, even though the whatever overlay you have, it's gonna show you more FPS. I noticed this in another game, so it was Counter-Strike 1.6 was um, IL-2 Sturmovic, the, the newer one, Battle of Stalingrad. I was into the game, I was like, this is uh, like uh, 100 FPS, but I have screen tearing at 100 FPS on this monitor, or the main monitor, the gaming monitor. Why would I have screen tearing? It made no sense. 
and I saw the micro stutter, like the mouse, uh, everything wasn't that smooth as it was supposed to be. So the games weren't running at true high FPS. And this is how you fix it. You basically, I'm gonna tell you again. So if you have two PC with a ladder on a second PC, just don't clone your monitor. That's gonna mess up. Yeah. You have to extend the monitor. Just, you know. I think it goes extend by the default. To be honest, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it extends by default. I just wanted to clone it because I thought that's the better performance, you know? Instead of rendering double the resolution, whatever. But whatever. Uh, it seems like it's not the fix. I mean, it's not how it's supposed to do. You have to do this. Put it in diagonal. You can drag it like this. Um, you make the your gaming monitor the primary, of course. Delgado is going to be the secondary. Because I think it's going to run like a single per, uh, display performance mode. It's going to like allocate all the resources or most of them on your main monitor. So I do micromanage my, my uh, processes. So I do like use this program. I do put my above normal all the time with the process lasso. I put it uh, OBS on that and I put the game I run uh, always on above normal and uh, so I don't have stutter on OBS preview <laughs> you can have that also so I do this then I open OBS I make a simple scene with a game capture and display capture for me at least I don't want to capture display all the time I think it affects performance so you have to like ideally you would disable that if you play games and that's pretty much it uh, you would have, you will have smooth FPS into the game, real smooth, not just reported by the overlay. Uh, you won't have screen tearing in your games or on Elgato capture. So yeah, that was that is my fix. I hope uh, it helps you out. Um, so it's gonna fix your in-game FPS and Elgato screen tearing. I hope this helps you out, guys. Well, be happy and uh, happy streaming.